Hi and welcome to Mrs. Cotton Candy's Darling Life. Hello there my darlings. I hope you're all doing well and having a lovely day. Thank you so much for joining me here today. Today I am going to share um, a Valentine's Day uh, DIY. But first I would like to thank my beautiful friend Erin. She sent me this, me and my husband, this lovely um, Have a Merry Christmas card with her one of her um, darling dogs, Stella. This is Stella. Isn't she just darling? I think she has a couple other um, little dogs as well. So thank you so, so much, Erin, for thinking of me and my hubby. We just love this. And we hope that you and your hubby are doing well and that the your fur babies are doing well as well. So thank you so, so much. It just touched our hearts. I will put, um, Erin does have a channel um, called Oh My Goals. I think that's what it's called. I'll put it down below. For, please go and check her out. She does wonderful videos on budgeting and planners and things like that. She's awesome. So thanks so much, Erin. Cotton candy. Oh, ooh, yummy. Mm. Mm. Oh, so yummy and fluffy. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. I have some of these heart picks that I may use. Um, these did um, come from the Dollar Tree. I believe. I've had them for, I don't know, a year or two. You'll need uh, these little glass um, containers that these did come from the Dollar Tree and you can um, you can use whatever kind of container or jars you'd like but these are the ones I, I chose. Um, I've got some cinnamon hearts, and these came from the Dollarama because I couldn't find any at my local Dollar Tree. And I also um, have some more cinnamon hearts. I'm hoping this will be enough. And then I have some more like um, little picks here, heart picks um, from the Dollar Tree. And I also have these little um, foam roses. And I'm kind of doing like a DIY that I did last year. I was hoping to be able, if I can find the DIY, I will link it down below. But last year I used conversation hearts. So this year I decided I'm going to use um, cinnamon hearts and possibly these flowers again. We will see. And you'll need um, some scissors. So let's just get right into it. So here's the, the jars, and I'm going to start with this. If you'd like, so you don't, you don't have to use so many um, like candies and whatnot, you could put some like foam or something in there, and then it would save you on buying um, a bunch of candy. But I'm just, I'm just going to hopefully, I'm just going to pour those in there. And i got another bag here. I'm hoping this is going to be enough. It's very easy DIY. There we go. Oh, well, you just take the bag and you just cut it and pour. And let's go this. Oh, I think I might just get lucky, my darling. That might just be enough. Oops, they're getting away. <laughs> they're getting away on me. Let's try to get some more. So they took a great big bag plus two, two little bags um, to fill these jars. So there you go. So it looks like this. I don't want to dump them all out. I'm trying to show you sides, but and now um, I'm going to let's see. I'm thinking these are going to be way too well. I'm going to stick these in here. 
If this is all for decor. So here they are. I don't know. I'm going to try it without. I'm just going to try it with the flowers and see. darlings I went with this way I really like them and I'm going to use them um, for decor so it's a very easy and most of the stuff you can get at Dollar Tree or your local dollar store and I just love this and I'll link my um, little um, centerpieces like this that I did last year if you want to check that out for some inspiration so I just wanted to quickly share with you this is where I put them on my coffee um, table in our living room and I hope you like this and it gives you some ideas and it's like I said it's very easy and so yeah I can't wait till Valentine's Day <laughs> it's so exciting mm -hmm.